This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. In data reader, write the method get int that returns the primitive int value of the parameter number. Okay, so we need to hit upon, obviously, the difference between a primitive and a wrapper class. So let me see here. Get int integer number. Notice integer is capitalized here. And that is because that means this integer is a wrapper class. It doesn't just represent the data. So int is a primitive data type. And what all that means, if I do int x equals 9, there's nothing complicated within that. There is a binary representation of 9 stored in x. Okay, so that's all that's occurring there. Now, if I do integer y equals new and in integer 9, there's a whole lot of methods that we have access to. I could do y dot get all sorts of stuff here i actually pulled up the official docs from oracle and these are all the methods we could do with that integer wrapper class i can do i don't know equals and i can compare it i can get a double value from this i can do dot float value and it will provide that there's a lot of stuff that we have access to if we're using the integer class itself now bear in mind even doing this uh, that will actually work too to instantiate the class it's kind of odd but it does so that's the difference. They're saying, hey, you have a class here. You have an instance of a class object, and we want just the simple primitive data type. Code.org actually has documentation, of course, which we know and are excellent and are experts on, hopefully. Let me take a look at an integer. So my input type is int, or my return type. What I want to result is int. What I'm given is integer. So let me see what methods we got here. Returns the value of integer. Nope. Oh, no, returns the value of integer object as an int. Perfect. That's what we need. We have an integer object. We want an int. So I'm going to do return number dot what int value. Bam. Okay. And so that should be all we need. It's going to take the, whatever value is in number, convert it to an int and return it. And if number was just like this, this wouldn't work. But since it's not, since it's the wrapper class, we have access to this method. Let's see what else we got. Uh, it looks like declare and initialize get method. Yeah. So we're also going to have to convert an array. Mm, and it's a string array. Okay. So that's kind of the reverse of what we did up here to some degree. Um, well, it's different. Up here, we had the integer and we wanted a primitive. Here, we still want a primitive, but we have a string. So first, if I need a new array, I'm going to do, well, declare an integer array. I know the return type int r, I'll just call mine, or array, or x, y, z, or int array, sure, int array, whatever we want, and that's going to be new int, and then now what's the length of this? It's going to be the same length as the incoming array, so the length of a list, and now I need a for loop, because I got to iterate over all of the values in list, and assign them to all of the indexes in my new array, so for int i is going to be equal to zero i is going to be less than it doesn't really matter int array dot length and then i plus plus because we want to go up by one each time to make sure we hit every value okay and now i have my int array and what index am i at i am at index i so whatever which would be index zero to start and what do i want index i to be equal to well i need it to be equal to whatever is at list i However, this is going to break right away. List is a string. I can't just assign int array index i to whatever is at list i. Handy dandy documentation again. And so let's see. Oh, look, returns string argument as an int. So it returns a string argument. We start with a string and it gives me an int. And that's just parse int. Now, that's interesting. So you might be tempted to be like, okay, but I need a uh, integer here, right? Well, here we had number. We don't have access to it. However, this is static, which means I have the ability to do integer. I don't have to declare a, or uh, I don't have to instantiate an inner object to use this. Since it's static, I can just use it directly by writing integer, parse int, bam. All right, and now each loop, each time we start with zero, we go all the way to the end. We're converting whatever value, values in our list into a primitive data type int, which is what that results in. Then I need to return uh, int. All right. All right. 
I am sure there are bugs. There always are. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, I need to instantiate. Okay. Integer. Um, my integer equals new in integer. Uh, I don't know. Seven. Sure. And now I need to call get int. So and print the result. So I'll just do int result is going to be equal to. Now keep in mind, um, I'm using the data reader class. And let me check to make sure. This is static, so I don't need to instantiate data reader. I'm going to call this directly. Data reader dot get int. And I'm going to pass it my value here. And you might have called this my Fred. I have no idea. Regardless. And then system. I don't know if you want to put result. I do. I like. I think it makes it look clear, more clear. Cool. All right, so that should be our first one. Let's see if this compiles and runs. It does not. What did I miss? Ah, these semicolons. Always my arch nemesis. Great, that looks good. Okay, and now I need to do the conversion of the list. So I'm going to do int r, I guess, array, um, is going to be equal to got a reader dot convert list and I believe I need to pass it my list as the parameter I do oh no right here convert list a string and they gave us a string here so string list that should convert it and then I believe I can just do oh can I call this method yeah so now I can just call this I don't have to do system out myself that was very kind of them and I just pass it an int array cool all right, let's give it a shot. And what did I break? Oh, I need to declare this an array. It's not a single integer. Bam, cool. Okay, so this stuff sounds complex, guys, but when you break it down, it can be more approachable. It's also gonna be really useful to us as we move through this content. That being said, onward.